Uh, actually, the only way uh, my daughter can be able to um, have a child um, by herself self, if she doesn't choose to do uh, a surrogacy uh, um, uh, uh, to get her baby with, with surrogacy mothers. And uh, when the technology is there and we were asked from the uh, uh, research team in Sweden, we thought, yeah, we got, we, let's go for it, try it. I'll come to some of those issues in a moment, but just briefly, why did she, the two of you, opt against surrogacy or, or, or adoption? No, I mean, Mora has known about her condition, uh, or Sarah has known about her condition since she was 16. And uh, for the, f you know, until last autumn, she was uh, prepared uh, and she was fully aware of if she wanted children, she was, uh, uh, you know, she was going for adoption. And then, then this um, opportunity came up and uh, she wants to try it um, if it doesn't work she is still going to adopt so that's pretty much how it is tell us more about uh, how you describe it the the opportunity because uh, am i right i see that you're quoted as saying when you first heard about it saying to your daughter isn't it weird i mean is no, that what you said to her yeah <laughs> she phoned me up in november uh, after being in contact with mats Bernström at salganska in gothenburg uh, and, um, I, you know, as a mother, you have all these questions. Have you thought it through? Do you know what you're doing? How do you feel about the, you know, the thing, you know, the thing that you are, 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 are you know, going to have the same room that you have been developed in yourself? Uh, and I, I said uh, to her, for me, it's a little bit weird. <laughs> Uh, and then we were talking through it, and, and she don't feel it at anyway. And I, and it's, you know, so uh, what? Uh, for me and my daughter now, it's more like you know, transplant of an organ, as you know. Sure, uh, you both see it as as an organ rather than anything else. Yeah. I mean, she's a biology she teacher. I mean, uh, just tell us because it, it's. A major, major operation, isn't it? I mean, yeah. it's been tried once before, uh, and it failed. What, what are the doctors saying to you about the, the risks here? I mean, the reason why it failed uh, in Saudi Arabia was that uh, the technology, the transplant technology, wasn't gone far, away, you know, far enough. Uh, it was a donation from a, a deceased person to this woman. Uh, Today, when the, the, it's a group of seven that is on the group to, for transplant, uh, and um, um, it's a completely different uh, uh, um, uh, thing now. Uh, the transplant uh, surgeons has con come so much further. Uh, they they have been working with the, uh, uh, the the medication you have after transplant. Uh, and uh, of course it's a major surgery, it has its risk, but on the other hand, um, I trust them. I, I know that they know what they are doing. I'm more concerned about my daughter, what, are, what is this going to have, uh, is, and uh, you know, what the impact will be for her, what would happen if it doesn't succeed, where is she then, and all those questions, but we have talked them through. Uh, also, Moa and her her her, her uh, fiance is uh, monitored by psychologists sure. and everything. So, yeah. Well, as I was saying, I know it's a major operation. So, good luck with it. I know it takes place uh, at some stage next year. Perhaps it, if it is successful, perhaps you'll come back and talk to us. Uh, some I'll stage tell you next year. what grandchild I will have. <laughs> All right.